Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Where are we going next? Today we're in Punta Cana in Dominican Republic and we're here at the Bahia Principe Grand Punta Cana. We're going to take you guys on a little tour through this resort here and show you guys what it's all about. So without further ado, let's head inside. So just a full disclosure, uh, Bahia Principe did invite us out to the resort and did cover the cost of our stay. So just wanted to say thank you, Bahia Principe. So I'm standing out in front of the main lobby here at Punta Cana. And uh, this is one of the uh, first, I think the second resort that was built on property. And you're gonna see some of its traditional charm here that they've left. So just some landmarking here. This is sort of like where you're gonna find some um, a la carte restaurants and shops. This is the main lobby over here. We're gonna visit that in just a minute. And then if I turn around all the way this way, you're going to see the Bahia Principe village. So there's sort of like a, kind of like a uh, courtyard or a large square almost with lots of shops. There's a casino and then a disco, like a kind of a nightclub. So the nightclub is currently closed, but just check to see when you book your trip if the disco's back open. If you follow this road down the sidewalks all the way this way, you're gonna reach Bahia Spa and then also a uh, water park that guests can use from the resort. So we're not gonna go down there and visit that, we're just gonna stay inside the resort here. So as you can see, uh, perfect, actually one's coming right now, there's these little trolleys that you can hop on and hop off throughout the complex. So they're really helpful, <laughs> really helpful in um, getting around the resort. So we're gonna walk up here. This is where you'd be dropped off by the uh, airport shuttles. And I really love this like kind of old style tradition, traditional kind of charm that Punta Cana has. And then if we head into the lobby here, we can see it's a really big open concept lobby. Uh, they've got a cool little statue here with palm trees in the middle and some pineapples. And each Bahia Principe has their own little statue in their lobby. Lots of seating areas around here too. So I'll just landmark a couple things in the lobby here for you. If you uh, look just over this way, this is where the main buffet is going to be located. We'll take a look at that in just a few minutes. If you look uh, just past the statue, that's where it's gonna kind of lead you to the uh, villas and to the main pools and beach. Panning over this way, this is where the uh, front desk is going to be for check-in. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna head over this way. This is also gonna lead us down a small hallway to some shops and a la carte restaurants. So just down here, we're gonna see our first a la carte restaurant. It's going to be the Japanese restaurant called Mikado. All right, so here's Mikado here. It's got like a nice kind of like Asian architecture to it here. Um, this is an a la carte restaurant and you can find the menu for the Mikida, Mikado restaurant on the Bahia Principe app on your phone. So just beside Mikado, just to the right, there's a uh, small little resort shop where you can grab any things you may have forgotten and then even some souvenirs too. So we got some like sunscreens, we got some um, like bug spray, we got some tumblers here too to kind of put your drinks in. These would be a great one to take down to the pool for sure, these larger kind of uh, Bubba style uh, tumblers. All right, so continuing our tour down this uh, sort of side area here, just to the left of the lobby. This is like a spot to kind of get ready to go to the airport. So this is like a packing area. You can kind of wrap your luggage in like a plastic wrap for safe travel. And then there's a scale to weigh your luggage as well. So that's always helpful. Just over to the left side here, there's some washrooms. Further along, there's a, another lobby shop. This one's actually quite a bit bigger. They have all kinds of like, they have some jewelry, they have snacks, they have soft drinks and stuff. If you wanted some, something a little extra that you couldn't find at the resort on the, uh, in the restaurants. They also have a good selection of alcohol and tobacco. Um, just kind of in here, as you can see on the wall. Um, so yeah, there's, it's like a much bigger shop, lots, lots more options than the smaller shop we saw um, just down here. I'd recommend checking this one out too, just because there's more selection. Over to the left here, we can see Bahia Principe Privilege Club, and this is the uh, member's lounge. So um, if you're a member of the Privilege Club, there's lots of perks you can get kind of on, uh, on property and have your own lounge to kind of uh, hang out at as well. Just further along here, you can see this is where tour operators are going to stay right here. All right, so just to the right of the tour operators is the uh, gym here at Bahia Principe Punta Cana. I'm just gonna peek in here and see if there's anybody working out. Yeah, there definitely is people working out, but you can kind of get a little peek in there of what equipment is offered. We have some dumbbells, there's some machines, some cardio equipment. It looks pretty big in there too. And it's some good music playing too to keep you motivated. So yeah, lots of stuff offered here at the gym. And you can see the hours here are seven o'clock in the morning to 10 o'clock in the evening. 
so I'm just uh, heading back into the lobby area here to continue on but uh, these maps are very very helpful I took a picture of this on our first day here and have it on my phone I can pull that up without any Wi-Fi and it tells you where all the things are in the whole complex so we're touring around Punta Cana right now we did tour all the other resorts as well and you can see those um, tours in our description of this video down below um, so yeah, we're touring around Punta Cana right now. We're gonna head into the villa area, check out the pools, and then head down to the main pool area and then check out the beach. Back in the lobby area now, I'm just gonna head up to this big uh, palm tree pineapple statue here. So looking over this way, we can see the check-in desk for Bahia Principe Grand Punta Cana, just over here. Everyone here will be happy to help you with any questions you may have. I'm gonna come across the lobby now before heading down this way, just to show you the main buffet area. So the main buffet, I like how all the buffets and all the Bahia Principes are uh, named after flowers. So this one's called Orcadia, but I'm pretty sure, pretty confident that translates to orchid. So yeah, you can see orchids right here, so you can catch some uh, breakfast, lunch, and dinner here. And I love the decor in the lobby. It's such a nice, it's not as sort of dark as it's showing up on camera here, just like the light is not coming through very well on camera, but it is quite bright in here. Um, it's great like decoration lots of areas to sit uh, grab a drink and hang out so if you look over this way there's like um, guest services over here they can help you with anything else on your stay if the front desk is busy and then just over this way you can see a small little TV that'll tell you all kinds of things that are going on at the resort right now the other thing you can do is use like a more interactive version of that you can try to find these little TVs touch screens located on the um, resort or in the lobby and if you click this it'll take you to um, like a little computer system that has all the different uh, reservations for a la carte up here you can see the spa any tours offered any golf packages last thing I'll let you know is you can see the entertainment program and this will tell you all the different things that are going on at the resort today and uh, yeah there's some great great things um, there's like bachata lessons at the uh, main pool so that's awesome just beside the computer, they have another uh, information board that has pretty much the exact same thing. Um, just if you don't want to use the computer system, you can check out this physical board here. Um, and then they also s show you what's happening in the uh, theater in the evening too. So it looks like today is, um, today is Tuesday. So today is gonna be the international show. Yesterday it was best of the year. And then tomorrow is a Latin show. There's all kinds of different things, Las Vegas, tropical, magic show, Dominican show, all kinds of great stuff happening at the theater and we'll show you guys the theater in just a few minutes. Moving over to the right side of the back part of the lobby, this is Daiquiri and Daiquiri is the lobby bar here at Punta Cana. Uh, 10 o'clock is when the lobby bar opens and you can always catch like a morning mimosa at the buffet if you'd like to. So yeah, lots of different um, alcohols and things and they can make you some uh, different virgin cocktails too if you prefer as well. And I'll give you guys a little shot of the QR code here that you can scan and check out the bar menu. If we kind of pan around this way into sort of this area we're standing in here, there's a self-serve coffee area over here where you can make your own cappuccinos. I think they actually will help you with this but I've seen some guests come up and do it on their own. Um, but yeah, there is coffee machines here, and I'm thinking that they would like you to wait for the um, staff member to kind of help you with the coffee, but I've seen, like I said, guests come up and pour their own coffees here. We're coming out towards the uh, back side of the lobby. We're gonna be out on the lobby terrace now, and this is like a great place to come and just hang out. They always have some entertainment here in the evenings, as you can see just through here. There's like a small stage. It's actually kind of a big stage with like a big lighting rig, and they do some uh, great like performances there, singing, dancing, they even like get the crowd engaged as well. So yeah, great nightlife here at Bahia Principe. Some of the best we've seen at the resorts we've been to. Over here is the uh, bar for kind of the terrace area. So this is quite popular in the evening, as well as Daiquiri, the lobby bar too. All right, so quick little pan of the lobby. We made it all the way through this lobby here. Um, the buffet was here, Mikado, and the shops are just down this aisle as well. Uh, the front desk and Daiquiri are over there whole terrace is here that we just looked at and then this small little terrace bar too so now we're gonna head into um, take a look at the theater and then head over towards see the pools all right so if you're walking kind of through this little corridor I'm in now uh, there's a nice little terrace out here too kind of set up with like a little gazebo looks looks great um, you can see some of the just trying to get the lighting there there we go we can see some of the uh, seating here is starting to get a bit more relaxed than in the uh, kind of terrace area We've got couches with pillows now 
This looks excellent. And then over here in this big building, I'm going to get the lighting fixed in just a second here, but I'll point it out. This is the theater, and this is the biggest theater that they have on, on the resort complex. So if you're looking for a great show, this is where you're going to want to come, into Punta Cana. If you're staying at some of the other resorts, um, just check to see that your resort has access to Punta Cana. I think they all do. And then this is like a really, really awesome place to go see a show. All right, so I actually just walked right into the stage here. It looks like they're just setting up some stuff for the show today. So there's a big stage. You can see all the different sets that they're going to be using tonight and some of the placements of it at the moment. So we're seeing a little behind the scenes sneak peek. Tons of seats available. And at the back of the lobby, or back of the theater, we have merengue. Merengue is the bar here in the theater. And I'm pretty sure, if I remember correctly, we didn't actually watch any shows in this theater, but um, they will have some servers walking around taking drink orders while you're watching the show. So that's always helpful too. You don't even have to get up and go to merengue. But if you do, it's just at the back. One thing I am also noticing too, is that there are some tour operators here in the theater too. So this is TUI and Sunwing that are here in the theater at the moment. Looks like, yeah, some more tour operators here. So I'm just kind of wondering if like this might be the actual place to come see all your tour operators. I'm not sure what they're using the other place for closer to the lobby. So anyhow, um, just at the back of the lobby, there's like a little game center set up here. I'm going to show you the one over here as well, just on the right side. Most of the uh, other Bahia Principe resorts here on property have their own theaters or have like access to a theater that's closer to their lobby. Um, so this is the shared theater for Punta Cana and Bavaro resorts, but other guests can come here too. So just to let you know that. So over here, there's some people playing the games here right now, but I'll just kind of quickly kind of pan in here. They have like a crane game, they have some pool, uh, some table tennis and air hockey. And then over at the other uh, games area, we've got some small little ride vehicles and then some crane games and then some other little uh, smaller little uh, ride vehicles there as well. Just looking out over, this is actually the Bavaro area over here, which we toured as well. So if you wanted to take a look at the Bavaro and see how it compares to Punta Cana, you can find the video on screen right now or down in the description. So just panning over this way, you can see like a Bahir Principe uh, Hotels and Resorts step and repeat. So you can get a cool picture here at nighttime or even right now if you wanted to. So now I'm just walking out the back side of the theater to where I'm kind of facing towards the beach right now. And as you can see, if I wanted to, I could hop on a trolley here and uh, get a trolley ride all the way to the beach. And uh, they come pretty quickly. We didn't wait much longer than like five minutes for a trolley. Um, what we did actually is where we wanted to go, we just started walking down that road and then the trolley kind of stopped and picked us up. So we were kind of, you know, not waiting really around. So this is the back side of the theater. It's kind of like a nice landmark. So when you see this right here, you know you're getting close to the theater and the lobbies as well. Oh wow, this fountain looks beautiful today with the sun reflecting off of it. So beautiful here on property. I love all the palm trees and how the villas are scattered about and you get to like walk through like kind of like a nice kind of lush, almost like a jungle to get to your room. Yeah, I really love the setup here at Bahia Principe. So now what we're going to do is we're going to head down this pathway right here. This is um, España Avenue or Spain Avenue. This is going to take us all the way to the beach and past the pools here at Punta Cana. So I'll take this. I think this is the pedestrian walkway right here. And then this is the trolley walk. Yep, exactly. <laughs> As we're walking through here, you can see the different villas. So Punta Cana is over here. Bavaro is over here. And we did room tours of the villas as well. So you can uh, take a look in the description and find room tours for the different villas at these two resorts. All right, so here is the um, pool here at Punta Cana. And I just wanted to point out one thing too, is you always find these like little um, signs here that'll kind of guide you along to where you need to go. Um, it'll tell you kind of what, what's offered and where they are. Uh, for, for instance, the beach is gonna be down here. Um, and the pools and all these things are just in front of us here. I just want to point a few things out and then we'll kind of walk around and take a peek at things. There's lots of these like um, grass umbrellas located around uh, for shade. Lots of chairs available at the moment. It's about 11.30 in the morning and I see lots of availability here at Punta Cana. Um, but yeah, the resorts are getting quite busy. So as we're walking through here, you'll see the big, big pool, lots of palm trees, um, lots of sunshade here. And then over here, is hibiscus the pool bar and over there is the garden grill which is like a lunch buffet you can kind of visit during uh, the lunchtime. and bavaro guests also have access to this pool as well so yeah so lots of uh empty space to go into the water here you can see there's even a zero entry here that goes shallow all the way into the deeper water i've seen like hostesses and servers come around 
and offer any drinks to guests or if you're not looking to if you're looking to get up from your chair and stretch your legs a bit you can head over to hibiscus the pool bar over here and as always there's always the uh, saw to after pool bar um, swim up bar just over here as you can see over there is the um, towel hut where you can exchange your card for a towel and then bring your card back to your room so you don't have to carry your towels around. The pool is behind me and this is the entrance for Garden Grill. Um, as you can see, it would open up so you can go and enjoy that at the lunchtime. All right, I just spoke to one of the chefs here that it's actually just setting up um, a barbecue here on the pool deck right here. And um, he let me know that Garden Grill is actually an a la carte restaurant. So I was uh, under the impression it was a lunch buffet, but the lunch buffets would be Arcadia, which we saw earlier. And also there's a spot at the um, playa or the beach for uh, lunch as well. So, okay, so just at the back side of the pool, the lobby bar is here. If we look over this way, you can see some different villas. And there's actually some like special areas over here with like different um, gazebos set up over here. It's like a kind of like a, like a VIP area almost or something, but I don't see any kind of indication that you need to like be any special guest or anything to stay here. I just don't think anyone's currently here at the moment. So yeah, there's some like awesome sunspots over here and some shade to, or sorry, awesome shade spots over here if you wanted a little bit more relaxation away from the pool. So just to let you know, we're right around Villas 11, 12, 14, and Villa 12 it says here too. Yeah, so this is Villa 12 right here. So from this little, I'm gonna call it like a VIP area, look, this guy's the only guy here in the VIP area. He's all alone. You got VIP all to yourself, buddy. All right, so just from that VIP area, we're just gonna look over this way. There's the pool we just came from. And then across, there's a second pool. This is Bavaro's pool as well. There is uh, pool bars right here, sort of similar to the Punta Cana pool. There's an a la carte restaurant over there. That's the Italian restaurant. And then same sort of idea with all the lawn chair, or all the loungers set up around the pool. Lots of shade. Uh, make sure you get there early to get your spot. All right, so just down this little pathway here, and just as a landmark, I'm just basically like steps away from the Punta Cana pool and the Bavaro pool over here. This is the pathway that leads to the uh, little mini club or the kids club. So it's got its own little separate building here. And another reference point too, this is Villa 14. If you want to be close to the kids club and the pools, the kids club is right here. Another thing to note too is this is the uh, little wedding gazebo chapel they'll use if you're coming to get married here at these two resorts, uh, Punta Cana or Bavaro. Um, right there, that's where you have your wedding set up. And they did have one set up yesterday. So uh, if you're watching this uh, and you got married here, congratulations. All right, so this is the uh, check-in desk and uh, here's the entertainment schedule they have here too. I don't know if you can see it from the sun glares here. There we go. So you can see some of the uh, activities they do with the uh, kids here at the kids club. It's called Bahia Scouts, which I, I love that name. And uh, yeah, they have some evening entertainment too. This is the stuff that's going to be, um, I think at the theater if I'm not mistaken, but they have it listed here too. So just to let you know, your kids have to be um, four years old or older to come to the kids club. And uh, that is an all-inclusive part of the resort, the mini club. You don't have to pay any extra for that. So that's a great addition for um, guests staying at the hotels. And, uh, let your kids stay with a staff member and they do some like activities together and uh, you can maybe enjoy like an adult day if that's something you'd you wish to do. So pools are behind me, um, wedding gazebo is here and then the mini club is just over there. I'm going to walk down this uh, pathway here now, this Espana Avenue and it's quite a bit of a walk. I'll just actually see how long it takes to get from the pools to the beach and I'll let you guys know. So it's about 11.40 right now and uh, yeah, I'll pick back up when I get to the pool area. Okay, I didn't make it very far and I wanted to turn the camera back on. This is actually like, um, there's like a wild area or a natural area here at the resort. This is actually a protected area because there's mangrove plants in here. Trees maybe perhaps? Um, and yeah, this is a protected area. So lots of guests kind of just stop and look for any wildlife in here. Um, yeah, there's like birds kind of chirping. It's really quite nice. It's a great walk here too through this natural area. So another thing I just wanted to mention, so we've got um, villas here on the left and the right. So on the right side, we've got villas one to 10, and these villas are close to the pool and the beach. So all just scattered throughout here. And if you wanted to uh, be close to the beach on uh, Bavaro side, villas 20 to 29 kind of scattered in around here. Um, obviously higher numbers on Bavaro side is closer to the beach, lower numbers on uh, Punta Cana side, closer to the beach. All right, so I'm at the statue here. Um, this kind of looks like Poseidon almost, if I were to say so. So I'm at the um, kind of beach area or pool area here, just beyond these little uh, huts here. 
are the uh, pools. So it's uh, 11.46, that took me five minutes and I was kind of walking a bit slower like looking at things and filming a couple things. Uh, five minutes from the pools behind me to the pools here at the beach and then it was less than five minutes from the lobby to those pools so probably like if you walk slowly and take your time it's going to take just under about 10 minutes to walk all the way from the lobby to the uh, beach pool area so i'm going to head over this way and uh, this would sort of be like the punta cana side and we'll show you that pool that's um, technically on the punta cana side but as i said before the bavaro pools and punta cana pools kind of share a similar spot Okay, so just to the left here, we can see um, El Pescador. I think it's El Pascador, I think, is a seafood restaurant here at Punta Cana and Bavaro. It's just gonna get a little bit loud as we get towards the pool here, because there is uh, some merengue music playing at the moment. There's a lot of people here, definitely more people and more energy than at the uh, quiet pools we just saw. All right, so I just came down the pathway here from a seafood restaurant. Um, if I turn behind me here, this is Villa 1, literally right on the beach, and you actually have like um, almost immediate pool access walking out of your room, so just to let you know that. So um, yeah, so as I look around here, there is virtually no chairs available. I, I'm actually not finding any. It's only about 12 o'clock, so if you want access to this activity pool, you're going to have to come pretty, pretty early in the morning to get your spot. Okay, so just to point a few things out here, um, as you look over this way, there's just seats over this way. There's a small little bridge that connects two pools over there. Um, if you look here, this is La Caracola. This is the pool bar. You can swim up to it. There's even a walk-up um, kind of a pool deck entrance over on that side to grab drinks. Um, just over here, I'm just going to try to crouch down. Just down here would be the pool, pool towel area. So exchange your pool towel card for a pool towel. All right, so I think I found the better area to film here. <laughs> so um, it is a little bit loud here. I still, I can hear some people obviously yelling into the microphone, uh, getting all the guests uh, energetic and into the activities, but just wanted to point something out here. I'll landmark this in just a sec, but this is Pisces or Pisces, however you want to say it, the zodiac sign. This is the lunch buffet here at the pool bar, or at the uh, pool area for Bavaro and Punta Cana. So if you look over this way, this is where um, La Caracola is, the pool bar for Punta Cana. Bavaro guests obviously can come here too. And then the um, small little pineapple stand here, you can get pineapple drinks for $5. But here Principe Tours here, and then the pool um, towel area just over there. This gives you a better shot of the pool area here. I guess Punta Cana pool, Bavaro pool, but again, they do kind of cross pollinate with guests here. There's a big inflatable slide here. Lots of kids waiting to kind of go down that slide. So lots of amenities and fun things for kids to do here. And then just over there, the Bavaro pools here too. So one thing I want to point out is um, the beaches are just over here, but there's a brand new renovated last couple of years beach house over here too. So, so that's the thing I was excited to show you guys because it is a really cool, unique thing we found here at Bahia Principes and uh, not something we see at hotels very often when we tour around them. So let's go take a look at that. I'm uh, just continuing my walkway this way from Pisces and then the pool bar over there. They have a second a la carte restaurant um, up here, kind of under the Punta Cana umbrella, but Bavaro guests use it as well. So this one is Santa Fe, and this is a Tex-Mex restaurant here at the resort. So if you're looking for a little Mexican Tex-Mex uh, food, here's the uh, Santa Fe restaurant. Turning to the left here, this is the beach house, and um, yeah, there's some really awesome stuff here. There's like a little restaurant you can sit at. This turns into the tequila restaurant at nighttime. There's a Greek restaurant and an Indian restaurant. If we continue our walk just around here, you'll see the entrance here to the beach house. So this is the uh, way up to the second level of the beach house, Las Olas. And then there's a second beach house over here that has a fish market. And then I believe it has a steakhouse in it as well. I'm just gonna go double check the sign. But as we're kind of walking through here, I'm actually walking into the Ambar Resort area. Um, so they kind of overlap just a little bit. So this is Ambar. As I said before, we did a whole tour of Ambar as well. So you can uh, take a look at that in our description or on our YouTube channel. Yeah, so I just checked the sign. So there's a steakhouse here and then a fish market and a uh, beach restaurant here for um, guests here close to the beach house, whether it be Punta Cana, Bavaro or Ambar. The other thing that I wanted to mention too, and I'll put in some clips here, is that there's a uh, Privilege Club lounge up here, which is one of the nicest things the Privilege Club have access to. Some people even get Privilege Club just to go to the lounge, so I'll put some shots in of that. What we're going to do now, since we've taken a look at the pools, we're just going to walk down this pathway here, and uh, we're going to head to the beach and show you guys what the beach is like here. 
so the beach is absolutely spectacular here in Punta Cana. The turquoise waters, which you can kind of see already. I'm walking beside the Las Olas Beach House right now. This is such an amazing little vibe here we got going on. Take a look at like the rooftop up here too. Really modern and trendy, very open and airy. This is really cool. Definitely like a real awesome beach house vibe here. But yeah, the water today and this week so far at Punta Cana has been absolutely spectacular. Uh, very, very kind of calm winds, very calm waves as well. Um, quite a shallow bit of water to walk in as you're walking through into the deeper water. The water is spectacularly nice and warm, but not too warm. A little bit of like just to cool you off a bit. And yeah, lots of people swimming. But I will warn you that as things get busier and busier, as we saw at the pools back here, the beach chairs are starting to fill up. So if you wanted to get a beach chair here close to the beach or with an umbrella, come early on in the day to make sure you get your spot here on the beach. So over here is the uh, Privilege Lounge. So if you're a Privilege Club member, you can use the lounge and the beach chairs here. A little bit easier to get, but still I don't see many free chairs, especially in the shade. So just looking over this way again, we can see the backside of the uh, beach house, Las Olas. Um, this would be like the beach club restaurant here and tequila in the nighttime. And there's a second level up there. And this was the uh, private Privilege Club lounge that I was talking about. There's loungers up there looking out over the ocean. It's probably one of the best views you can get on resort just up there, that Privilege Club lounge. I'm gonna go down to the beach and check things out. All right, yeah, this is awesome. The waters are super clear today. The waves have like really subsided. Awesome swimming conditions here. There's even some water sports. There's like some catamarans up on the horizon there. You can rent kayaks as well. So all kinds of like activities you can do. There are some vendors on the beach who will try to sell you some of their like wares, but um, you can just tell them no and they'll leave you alone. They're not very bothersome at all. So yeah, this is excellent. This is such a good spot to come if you've been looking to get to an all-inclusive resort um, in the last couple of years and haven't made it. If you want to make uh, Bahia Principe your, your first all-inclusive destination back, definitely recommend it. They have definitely done an awesome job. Every time we come here, it's better and better. And this is one of the best times we've come here. And if you found this video helpful, give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to our channel to find out where we're going next.